Hey guys, Matt here with Bleepin' Jeep. In the last video, I showed you how we got here to Utah and all the struggles that came along with that. We did a three-part series, actually, of building this Ford and then taking it across the country. A completely wrecked Ford, mind you, that we paid $4,000 for. It was quite the, quite the struggle, and that was a really good series. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you go check it out. But now I'm going to show you why we built this thing and why we came all the way across the country for the off-road games and all the shenanigans that we got into next. Good morning, guys. It is day one of the off-road games. It is freezing. All right, we have a lot of it's early in the morning, and, we're starting things off track. I and they're giving somebody a microphone. I will be aiming straight for you. Oh, oh there we go. The man who needs no introduction. Actually, Tom, will you introduce me? <laughs> so I'm supposed to get Bleep and Jeep content, but I can't even see. It's me. It's, it's Matt from Bleep and Jeep under here. <laughs> Mr. MC. I don't know that any of this audio is going to be usable. This is a complete something show. <laughs> the wind is about 50 miles an hour out here. It's freezing cold, but we are at the start of the trail for the off-road games here on the first day. And uh, yeah, it's insane. So I'm not prepared for this, but I'm supposed to be one of the MCs for the day. So I'm waiting for my microphone. Nobody seems to know where that is. But uh, once I get one, Josh is going to get some footage of me uh, talking in circles, I guess. <laughs> this is an exact replica of the banana, just in blue. It's like a blueberry. It's supposed to be in the desert where it's warm and hot. That's right. Instead, where we get cold. And cactuses and things of that nature. It's like Canada right now. It's so Canada. <laughs> so I've been getting myself lost. I had to run back to get the camera bag. Uh, Chris from BSF was nice enough to let me use the razor, but I can't go through the tunnel because there's such a long line So I try to take my other way around and I'm trying to get Over there where all the people are But there's a big gorge between me and there No idea where Matt is How's it been going? Where you been? I lost you for like four hours. Yeah, I missed the whole event. <laughs> Has anybody had any issues? Look at the back. Look at the back of Robbie's. Oh, yeah. That Jeep hit that Jeep. Is that what happened there? Yeah, I think Robbie intentionally was like, "Come on, move forward, move forward, move forward." And uh, there so many it was so bad that Keep they were pushing straight, and they both Robbie lifted up in the air right like this. So that's the new thing. Like the Dr. Pepper. The next person is crunchy Dr. Pepper. It's going to be a new thing. You're just a test market. You're doing great. Bumper! Say, Matt, Unsung Heroes right there? Yeah, Unsung Heroes right here. We need to pick a harder trail or get the speaker jeeps off here. It's turning everybody else to shame. <laughs> okay, I think we should have this event here in the bag. Is this the uh, obstacle or secret thing that we're going to shine at? Yeah, definitely Freedom Winch Line is going to help here, but I think we could also just take 20 foot of uh, winch line and wrap it around the bumper before we get here. We don't have to spool out or pull or nothing. You just go whoosh. That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Or just throw it in the passenger seat like we do sometimes. Should be able to be two minutes. Oh, yeah. Out of my foot! That's dangerous winching right there. Light bright, I see you. So just so you know, for future reference, when you're pulling with a hard shackle like that, you don't ever want it side loaded like that. You want to pull it straight, not against the pin. What size is that? Yeah, you're gonna come down on this. Is this the plug in the bottom? Yeah. It's gear, uh, it's from the gears. So would you call this sabotage? Sabotage. What happened? Trail foul, off road and chill. Trail foul. <laughs> Let's call them all out. <laughs> you want me to get up there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm cheating. Jeez. Oh, he's coming up. Okay, he's coming up. <laughs> You get your tires off the ground tomorrow? Sure. Sure. I'll do whatever y'all tell me. Alright. How's that ride? Mutual love. It's really comfy in here. It's a little bit warmer. Heated seats. Don't have to use my feet or move them like this. Great. You know you have front tires off the ground? Coming up that back there. Because Marlon keeps telling him to send it. I'm like, no, you don't. Sean, Sean is on four wheels. One final try. Come on, let's hear it. it up. Give it a beans. Oh, 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 that sounded like a drive line. Victory pot. Mr. Bilden is blindfolded is that is? and driving this course. You can catch that, he's blindfolded. Top blindfolded somehow. Now. Blindfold him in, put earbuds in his ears so he can't see or hear. See or hear. He just goes anywhere he wants. Yep. Just drive until you flip over or kill somebody. Yep. Alright, guys, it's day two. We are at the off road games. Look at our tank. We've got a tank on top of the Jeep today. We've got ducks to throw out, t shirts to throw out to the crowd. It's all about pleasing the crowd. we got to head over there and get started. You guys ready? We're ready. We never. I never put gas in this thing because I was going across the, the country and I wanted it to be light as possible. Went wheeling the other day, still never put gas in it. I couldn't actually do it because I always had to go through the diesel pumps and the trailer was too long. And we were just about to line up to head out to go for the off-road challenge and I realized there's probably like fumes in there. So luckily we had some gas in the truck over here. We got to fill up and then head over there real quick because now we're going to be running late. Yeah, they're already yelling, Matt! <laughs> Where's Matt? Okay, we're late. We uh, apparently missed the introduction today. Ed's in here though. We got Ed. Hey! We've got some free stuff to give away. We've got ducks. We've got t-shirts. We've got monsters. We've got tanks. You guys ready? What more could a crowd ask for? Right? A ride up there. Check that out. We've got a rainbow. Hey Matt, how about a weather report? All right. Well, um, it's about 60. No, it's about 50 degrees and raining, and it's going to get wet today. 100% chance of rain. No windshield wipers. We can't see where we're going. Look over there. That looks great. We're supposed to be leading the pack. The pack consists of Rudy and the Rudicon, I guess. Since we were late, we didn't get a camera in here, like a live feed camera. Oh. Hang on back there. It's my head. Whoa. Let's hope the rains hold off over here for a little while. The crowd is uh, not as big as it was yesterday, I think because of that. Yeah, that they're works. Ex they're expecting that to come this way. Yeah. I think you should yeah. sit up there while he drives and you have to spot from up there. Nah, I don't <laughs> trust him that much. <laughs> hey. Hi, how are you feeling? I'm what? feeling wonderful. Wonderful? <laughs> One so I have Ed from Benwicky yeah. and his, uh, his peer, Christopher Michael. Christopher Michael's art. Oh! Yeah. What is with the, um... We're gonna blow the competition away. Yeah, we're still supposed to have a jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What are you doing? Not bad. How you been? Good. Good. You guys made it out here, like, in the, in the, in the truck. How, like, oh, it made it. Yeah. It made it. Surprise. So fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
The last event I was in, the last event I was in, they were trying to get me to wear a pink helmet and they couldn't. So I'm gonna wear one for this. You never had to wear it. I never jump okay. on it. Jump on it. Awesome. Oh, okay. No, in the picture, picture. In the picture. I'm like in, the, in my vehicle. There we go. Ready. One, two, three. This thing seems perfectly suited for these rocks. I know uh, Matt built it just for this, but the four-wheel stair is going to be a crowd pleaser. All the ducks, all the t-shirts, we're going to kill it. I'm excited. I've got a Dr. Pepper holster. He is six-gunning the Dr. Pepper there. Okay, Fast draw. One. You don't even have to prompt him. You just aim the camera at him, and he just goes. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm like Energizer Bunny. I'll just talk all day. <laughs> you don't even need a fridge today. Load your holster. This holster a bad word on YouTube. Could be a banana holster. Oh, that, that one leaking? <laughs> that might get you demonetized too. Now, are these all the Dr. Peppers you feel like you're going to go through in the day? Like, this is kind of keep your your levels up? Or? Well, I got to be careful because there's, you know, thousands of people out there and not a lot of places to use the restroom. Right. Yeah. Or, or no places to use the restroom, I think. Christopher's gonna come see now and go, I need one of them fanny peppers. If you wear it like like cross draw, like a sash maybe, you might be more comfortable sitting like, down. Already? Already? Might be a, might be a little hot, you might be more comfortable. That's pretty good. That's yeah. looking really good. That's good. That looks fantastic. Hey guys, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get buckled. So we got Ed with Midwiki in here. These guys are doing are starting the trail off. Uh, my understanding is you're gonna go halfway through and then switch drivers to Chris, who's also from Benwicky. Oh, there we so, go. All right, there we go. Me and you are gonna, gonna be good friends here in a minute. Disco helmets on, ducks ready, t-shirts at the ready. I need to put my seat heater on. Oh yeah, I forgot about seat heaters. That is some niceness. Did you make this smaller since I was last <laughs> in it? No, I think you could. I, I am. I am at the limit of, of fitness. Uh, thicker pants on or something? That's it. I wore my thick pants today. Bad <laughs> idea for the Scorpion. Ed, you're, you're a 10 pounds of special and an 8 pound Jeep, buddy. your ducks. We're gonna cruise through this in like 30 seconds. You guys will. Let's see. Look at that duck.
better look out. We about to get sticky up in here. Beep, beep, sleeping cheap, coming through mother liquor when we're talking about crews that ain't no other sicker. Damn, you best get out of our way. Sleeping cheap, straight crawling over everything. Sleeping cheap is a force to be reckoned with. If knowledge is power, I ain't nothing to be messing with. I got the YouTube channel to prove it. If your Jeep's broke down, gonna get you moving. Four low, off road, and the thing's straight gobbling. Back on the streets, and the thing's death wobbling. Like the hobgoblin was up in the drivetrain, causing the ruckus going insane in the membrane. Yeah, could have been them third. That's music. my music. That's your music, yeah. and you're not gonna copyright us. Right. Yeah. I got a verbal, but you can still come and get us. But I trust you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. First flop. Oh, yeah. You did it in your second drive. That's right. <laughs> Oh, 
mark on that mark. Yeah. My tire on that. Yep. It's too busy throwing ducks. to give me any. I know. I've got a bad tow driver in here. I'm just throwing ducks, not paying attention, and then we roll over. But you see where those, mar those yep. marks are? Yeah. Basically, wherever the black marks are, that's where you want your tire. Okay. So you can see kind of where the middle is. Sorry that I knocked over your truck. said I want a shirt. Got a shirt? Thank you, sir. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. If I think I'm doing bad, I just think of that guy lugging that big camera around up there. Oh, yeah. No kidding. Big, strong adult. Team, it looks like. Everybody wants the underdog right here. All the kids over here. All the kids over here. We're going to show them what it's made of, guys. The big guys. Come on. All the big guys. The big guys. All the big guys. I think this is even. Let's get this going. We're going to get this going. We're going to get this a tug of war going. Everybody grab on. Grab on somewhere. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Everybody. Get up here in the front, we're good. We need big guys, come on. All right. Come on, we need big guys. There you go, come on, come on. 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 They're tough kids, aren't they? They are. Those kids are tough. Where's our guy? Oh, they are strong kids. Christopher, how's your confidence level? Oh, my God. This thing, I got all the confidence. This car is just incredible. Uh, we got to wheel this thing up in Windrock a couple weeks ago. It drove over things the size of cars and buses and refrigerators. I have total confidence in the thing. He is a fantastic spotter and a teacher. Total confidence. This truck could drive up a skyscraper. Yeah. Live. What do you guys oh, think man. so far? Oh, man. Do I look pretty? I think so. Am I sparkly? I think you're sparkly. Am I shiny? We've only been on our side once, so uh, we kicked him out, we kicked out Ed, we got Chris in here. That's fine. That, that was the rule, you flip over you lose your spot apparently, so now, I'm up next. Now we're only going to flip over three times, so I feel much more confident. It's about those guys and the kids. These guys? Not oh, you, you and them. Those guys. It's me watching you, watching you, watching me, watching you. Christopher. Yeah, yeah, you know how to use the wind? I just showed him. Okay. Oh, 
Rev it up a little bit. No, no, neutral. So what just happened back there? Uh, Freedom Wing sign for the win. Hell yeah. We got it pulled Heck, out. Yeah. He, Tom Tom said just get ready, whatever that means. And I yeah. was like, well getting ready means pulling it out. Right. So I pulled it out. Uh, I didn't have quite enough slack, I thought it would, so I engaged it a little too early. We would have had like two more seconds, but I'm happy with 42. I was impressed how strong the winch line was because we were on the edge of a big drop off and I took my foot off the brake at the wrong time. Rolled back about three feet, put all the weight on this thing, just snatched that line. It didn't even stretch at all, man. That thing was strong line. It did fantastic. I thought it was going to snap it, but it held this Jeep just fine. I had to give it a little help just to speed things up a little bit. I don't know if you saw that, but I mean, that's not cheating. Manpower. Oh, you were pulling on it? Oh, I was on a tire. On the tire. Spinning the tire. Did that scare you a little bit when it went forward? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Only does it use it because she doesn't need it. Not around it. Alright, The hardest line. Good job, Christopher. That was awesome, man. This thing is just incredible. Only I wish it had like like transparent floorboards. I could like see the actual terrifying stuff I'm driving under. 
Yes. But uh, yeah, this thing is fantastic. Love it, love it. It's like you've been running in cowboy boots your whole life, and then somebody gives you some track shoes. You're like, what? I can do this? This thing's fantastic. Y'all have built an incredible, incredible Jeep. Well, I'm pretty sure I can handle it on my own now. I'm good. I'm just going to run with it. I'll see you at the top. All right. It's your turn now. You guys going straight over it, huh? We're going to warm up our tires a little bit. You ready? I heard that if we uh, do some tire smoke, we can bribe one of the announcers, and then he might be better give us you better, might get a better results. Score? Yeah. Or we can bribe the announcer, and he said he likes tire smoke and rubber smell. So we're gonna put a front dig going on up here, get the tires hot, a little smoke for the crowd, and then we'll back up and hit it. Right on. Go ahead. Now, is uh, any chance we're gonna break anything? You have you have total confidence in this driver. Well, if you're driving, there's no telling. That's true. I can break a steel ball with a rubber hammer, so uh, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but uh, we'll give it all. So I'm gonna hook the front tires. We'll hang this thing by the front tires. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Don't go all the way up, just go halfway, otherwise they'll think you're stuck. Oh, okay. So we're so, just going to put our tires on the wall. Oh, on the wall, okay. We're yeah. not like, hooking them Yeah, we don't want them I, to think you're stuck. I get it. We got a game plan here. Are you guys going to throttle out or are we going to get a nice crawl? Okay, no, we're going to bribe you. You like tire smoke? You're going to see some right here. Oh, do you guys like tire smoke? Who oh. likes tire smoke right here? Oh, man, I trust this guy in my life. We're just going to make it happen. Anything goes. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I feel pretty good. Do we got chrome only axle shafts in this thing? No, they're Dana 30s. So if you see some sparks, watch out. <laughs> has the flu or something. <laughs> yeah, not feeling great, but feeling great. I bet you it's just that sand from yesterday. It could be. That's some of it. Nice job, Christopher. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much, man. That was so much fun. Just awesome truck, awesome time. Appreciate it. Ed, let me give a chance to drive, too. And, uh, we just had a fantastic day. All right, we this got everybody awesome. moving. We're getting ready to set them all up to shoot now. <laughs> the easy way's around. Are we ready? All right, here we go. Is everybody ready or should we wait? Everybody ready? Let's do it. All right, look at that rear steer coming around that corner. Super impressive. I hope his brake lights don't give out, okay? I'm sorry, too. So this rig has rear steer, and I don't know if that's gonna help him here. It might get a little scary. Oh boy, he's staying in the There he goes, just like that. Give it up to these guys, he's got it. Woo! All right, here goes Mischief Maker. Yep. Here he goes. It's looking good. Come oh, on, man. Rudy Cole. Yes, like that. Did you hear about the guy whose left side was cut off? He's all right now. Oh.
feel like we're about <laughs> to get into something we shouldn't be in. This is not a monster truck, but somehow we've lined up in the monster truck show. That is a monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out our competition. Oh my gosh, what is this? Look at this. Think he's got enough axles in there? Looks like they're all drive axles too, look. Those are some massive links. <laughs> That's pretty cool actually. Got the more of air. The banana, the Rudicon, Murphy Diesels here, working on their stuff last minute. Oh, there's a little puppy in there. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Check that out. It's busting through. Got BSF recovery here and the Scorpion. What's up, Eric? Hey, how's it going? Got any words of wisdom for us? Well, I don't know. Uh, this sand, uh, when it's dry, um, it just sucks you down. It's wet today, so we'll see. We should have some good pulling power today. I, I think so. That means more breakage, though. Well, you know, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> if you aren't breaking, you aren't trying hard enough. All right, I don't want to break though. I'm not going to try very hard. <laughs> Tom, Tom, what do you got to say? Uh, don't stop, man. Just keep it moving. This is not the forte of the rear steer Scorpion with the, you know, straight six, 4.0, little horsepower. The rear steer might be good when you're making the turns around the arena today. You know this thing weighs 6,000 pounds. Does right? it really? Yeah. It's a tank. So it's momentum. Momentum. Yeah, momentum. Keep it going. All right. Don't slow down. I am not letting anybody else drive in the sand. That's where you can really damage some stuff. I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the driving. Is Good that, idea. Is that how we're doing it Good today? Idea. I think it's your choice today. Okay, I'm driving. <laughs> Good old power stroke getting it done. The cab over. What do we got here, uh, JK. That's pretty cool right there, an old forestry truck. So we brought a little surprise, but we need to test it to see, because I don't know how far it's gonna shoot. You can't say that word. I don't know how far it's gonna fly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like that. High voltage. Tumbleweeds are not just on old cartoons. Did you not get the memo? Nine o'clock. Nine fifteen. It says on my email. Nine o'clock. Nine fifteen. It says on my email. Last night we decided. You, she was giving me a hard time at the dinner last night. I was giving him a really night, hard time. All I could in front think of this, everybody. All I could think this morning was. Foot in my. Foot in my. Did Weston uh, take another flight where the door fell off? I was so lost. It's like, what is going on? Jesus, this is so far in your face. <laughs> you guys want to see that? Yeah! All right. All right. Okay, we are going to do some of the get them through. Hey, Kayla, Kayla. So, if y'all don't know this, Kayla grew up rock crawling. She learned to drive when she was 11. Or is he not fair? Nate has to tow that F-350. <laughs> Who has to pull me? Go tell them we're going to stay on the inside track since we got a flamethrower, okay? Go to off-road. Yeah. So, 
we have a flamethrower, so stay towards the inside because we're going to be shooting a flamethrower out the passenger side. Okay. <laughs> I'm concerned, but excited. <laughs> You're not locked in. There is something called four wheel drive. I want to use it. That didn't count. All right, I think you got to lock in. Let's try this again. Oh, I thought he was supposed to pull Mischief Maker, but he's pulling Peck Brothers. stay out here and see how these paddle tires work. Pull a mischief maker. That is a heavy Jeep. Victory lap might be good. Or pulling Holly was ridiculous. I don't know how I was pulling them though. I had a lot of weight in that team, but yeah. Mine's heavy too, so Bobby it worked out. It did. The, oh, the flamethrower wasn't out. doing so hot. No. It, it's too out too of gas wood. though now. I think I want to. All the gas is all around the truck. I want to fill. I want to fill it up. And go stand in the middle. Did you guys see the the Peck Brothers Jeep over here? Go look inside of it. Did you Did you see inside of it? We didn't see inside of it. Go look in there. 
Holy crap. <laughs> How good you guys are! What kind of car is it? It's a yellow one. Yeah, it does. Look how sharp all that stuff is. That's how you called it. That's how you lose a tire right there. Those are what, like three grand a piece? Probably. Josh, you get too close to the action. I had a little sand shower. <laughs> oh yeah, look in there. <laughs> oh Matt, you're so strong. You carry tanks. I think the first thing we're gonna give away is this tank. You saw this tank on top of the Scorpion, now it's going to be on top of you. Let's just keep this thing bouncing. Throw it, pass it around, see how far we can get it. There we go, pass that tank, bounce it, volleyball style. You can do it. Keep it up, don't let it touch the ground. Don't let it touch, keep it going. Y'all have fun, enjoy that thing. Matt brought that tank to blow away the competition. I think he did. Who thought he did a great job? Who liked the crab walk? Absolutely. And even cooler, who liked the flamethrower? I'm taking over, guys. All right, let's see who's here. Josh Joshinson, Ben Wiki, Ed Marvino, husband. What's going on here? Thanks, everybody. Weston Champlin and Robbie Layton, will you guys get up here? Wait a Wait a oh, yeah. Wait, first place? That's all right. That was last place. Third place loser. Third place loser is Todd from Project Farm and Air to PSF. Let's give up for these guys. Second place loser is Laura Farms and Rory Irish with Trailmaker. First place loser 
is Ed and Christopher with Vinwicky and Matt with Fleep and Jeep. And we know they can drive fast. We also know they can drive over and drive back over and, and also do burnouts. What do you guys say about it, Matt? I'm just so glad to be here at all. Thank you guys for coming out. Ed and Christopher, thank you for being my partners. Christopher is so much better with words. Say something. Uh, we're just so happy to be here. It's been an incredible experience. We're driving off-road out here with all these great people, making new friends. This has been amazing. So we were winners whether we were first loser or last loser. But just so happy to be here. and Appreciate my partner Ed here. Just letting us all come out. Fantastic job that Matt did teaching us and uh, showing us how to drive that amazing Jeep. Thank you. Production to camera to the drone. Most importantly, everyone boarding this channel. That's who wants to hear what, who the winner was for the Off Road Games 2024? Devin with Legal Eagle and Marvin with Flex Rocks and Rollovers in the Tangerine. Wait, you, you guys, guys got the yeah. app. Man, what a blast. We came away with second place at the off-road games. Can you guys believe that? There was some stiff competition. I had no thoughts of ever placing in this, but I think we were able to entertain the crowd, entertain the audience, and hopefully you guys at home. So thank you guys so much for that. Thank you to Matt for putting on an awesome games and all the competition and all the people that came out. It was it was pretty wild, the amount of you guys that showed up and, and supported it. Yes, we threw out a lot of ducks to you guys. I hope you got one. The 300, 300 ducks? <laughs> after, this after we were making fun of all the, the ducks, but people really get excited about ducks. Anyway, we're gonna continue on. We have the Onyx Build Challenge coming up next, and then uh, Easter Jeep Safari after that. Huge shout out to our Patreons over here. They are the ones who support the channel and keep things going and keep the lights on for us. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeep. Early access to these videos and more. We'll see you guys next time.